Thanks for watching. This is Robert Galarowitz with Healthy Kidney Inc. And I want to discuss polycystic kidney disease. And what is polycystic kidney disease? So PKD, for short, for polycystic kidney disease, it's a genetic inherited disorder which causes cysts to grow in the kidney over time. And as these cysts grow over time, it continues to damage the kidney where there's a loss of kidney function, usually leading to dialysis. With polycystic kidney disease, there's not a lot of treatments available, but there are things you can do naturally with your diet and supplements to help slow the progression down. And in some cases, you can slow it down quite drastically to almost where the disease is progressing at a crawl, meaning the cysts don't grow much, or very little at all. And the earlier you can start, the better. And I'm going to talk about resveratrol. You can see behind me here, and I cited some of the journal with the study in it, where they used resveratrol, and what they did was they tested it in polycystic kidney disease and showed that it was able to slow down the loss of function over time. And resveratrol is a natural substance that's found in plants. It's a plant phenol, so a substance found in plants that helps protect the plants against stressors of their environment, weather, insects, uh, bacteria, funguses, and you consume this through foods like berries as a high source, grape juice, uh, raw cacao is another one, and it has many, many anti-aging, anti-inflammatory benefits. And pretty much whatever they study resveratrol in, it's shown to have some type of benefit, some type of positive outcome. And it's shown in polycystic kidney disease to slow the progression down. Now, you, you just can't get enough from food. You can't eat that much as opposed to taking a supplement. Now, before you go to the store and just buy a resveratrol supplement and start taking it, there's a lot more to it. You do want to have a therapeutic dose. There's lots of different types of resveratrol on the market from extracts to just the powder. Uh, so you want to make sure you're using the right kind. And I do write this all up on an article on our blog at healthykidneyinc.com. So go by, you can check it out. If there's something that you want to do, you, should, what you want to try to do for your polycystic kidney disease, resveratrol will be something excellent, but you want to make sure you're using the right types. So I write up this article with uh, references to the study at healthykidneyinc.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. And to your better kidney health. Bye.